I'm Alan Zucconi, I'm an Italian developer, and for the past 10 years I've been working in games. Um, more recently, I started working in the field of education, so now I'm a lecturer and I'm working at LCC. I'm a part of the um, University of the Art London, where I teach game development. I've always been very interested in the idea of teaching and helping people to learn more about what they're doing and about what making a game means to them. Initially, I didn't thought that was going to be part of my long-term career, but um, I think I've sort of realized quite soon that there are so many games around and there are so many people wanting to make games that suddenly it's getting much easier to teach people how to make games. When I started, I remember that we had no game engine, you know, as, as we said now. So it was quite challenging because anything you want to do, for example, if it was 3D or if it was images or if it was shaders, graphics, sounds, you had to do everything yourself in a sense that you didn't have have a piece of software that will merge in all of those aspects together. And the porting was a nightmare because if you wanted to make a game, for example, for PC, then most likely you had to change everything to make the same game again for Mac, for Linux, for console. The market was so fragmented and it was so hard to find a system that could allow to make your game only once and focus all your resources on one single thing. And I think that this has changed quite a lot in the few maybe 10 years. And now we have a lot of engines, for example, um, Unity, Unreal, and they're quite good because they allow people with maybe very little programming skills to start making games, which is something that we didn't have before. If you wanted to make a game, you had to be a programmer and you had to be a very good one. Now, people who have more of an artistic side, maybe people who don't really know how to code, don't really know about shaders, don't really have studied computer science, they can actually make a game and they can be very effective in making that game. This is something that really interests me as, as an educator and as a lecturer. The fact that we have all these people that potentially they can make amazing stuff, they can make amazing art, they can make amazing games. And what they lack is the knowledge of how to do it. And you know, as much as we have Unity and Unreal and all the online tutorials, this doesn't help them enough for some of them. It's not enough for them to sort of realize how to make games and how to make them games better and effectively. So I what, what I really, I think my mission as a lecturer is trying to find those people, try to reach out to those people and making sure that they have everything they need to deliver the message they want, whatever they do. And this is something that we are really clear um, at LCC when, 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 when I introduce myself to the students. They can make whatever game they want and I'm happy to support them. 